Okay, on today's tutorial, we're going to do an advanced accordion component. So uh, this one will have, you know, it animates open, um, and then through variables, you'll be able to choose if it holds accordion items, like a menu, or in the same component, you could switch it to be text-based with maybe a call to action, like a, perhaps like an FAQ or something like that. Um, both animated, um, both pretty slick. And then we'll also dive into how you can make it so that when you have one open and you open the other one, the top one closes. And so we have a, a one only open state as opposed to a, uh, a both open state. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, I've got my accordion item component here and I've already got a chevron. So I'm just gonna make a heading title for my accordion. That I think is probably going to be good enough. If I can line up my chevron, maybe I should bring that down to 16. Okay, we're going to select those. Shift A, turn this into a auto layout. We'll call this accordion header. Okay, and then we're actually going to shift A this again call this accordion component. Actually, I'll call it advanced. Uh, and now this one we can add a fill to. Maybe we'll put a little bit of border radius on it. And we're going to make sure it's set to down. And yeah, that should be fine there. I think. Okay, so now we have kind of our main state. Uh, we're going to build our open state first. So this is pretty easy. I mean, we've got our accordion items. This is already an auto layout. So I should just be able to drag these in and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And now I've got basically an open state accordion. Uh, because this is open, we will flip that around. Uh, we want to make sure that this is set to fill container. These are all set to fill container. And then we're actually going to do a shift A and put these inside their own auto layout. And I'll show you why. We're going to hit clip content. We'll set it to the bottom. Uh, first things first, it's just my spacing. I want a little bit more there. So maybe 15. Um, all that looks pretty good. Um, and I think, you know, you can add a, a drop shadow, but for some reason in Figma, animating between drop shadows, uh, unless the drop shadow is consistent, it gets janky. So instead, I'm going to put a hard shadow under here by adding uh, a stroke. And then I'm actually just going to go to all the borders here, and I'm just going to hit bottom. And I'll give it maybe three, and I'm just going to make sure it's on the outside. Now I've got a little bit of a bottom shadow. I mean, I could add it to the other side too, but I think this is just, just fine. So this is our open state for our advanced accordion component. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a component. Now we're gonna make our open state. So to do that, we're gonna select our items, or sorry, our closed state. So actually, first thing we'll do is we'll flip that around. And then I'm actually gonna shrink these down. And you can see like this gives it that sort of, you know, reveal, slide out reveal um, effect. So bring that up. And I'm actually just gonna go here and I'm just gonna set it to one. Uh, and then I'm gonna highlight my variant. We're gonna get rid of the shadow or the stroke. Now you can see it's kind of all messed up, right? So we're going to uh, reduce the space between everything to zero. And we're still off a little bit, I think, because, no, oh, no, maybe we're not. We're good. We might be off by one pixel because of, uh, because that thing is down to one pixel. So, so you could just go negative one. There we go. That looks good. Okay. So that's our closed state and that's our open state. Pretty easy. But now let's take it a bit further and say we want to add some text and, you know, make a couple different variations. So what we're going to do 
This is the first thing is this. So we're going to go here and we're going to put this as state. And I'm going to put this to open. And then this guy is going to be closed. Okay. So now we're actually going to pick our component. And we're going to go over to properties. We're going to add a variant. And we are going to call it type. And the default value will be items. Okay. So now we'll click our open state again. We'll create a new version of that. I'm going to drag it over here just to keep things neat. And we want to keep this items frame. So we'll call this just a text frame. And you can actually see over here that we're getting an error because we already have an open items. So what we're going to do is we're going to change type here to be text. And then that goes away. Uh, so now we can go to our text frame, select all our coding items, we can get, get rid of those. Um, our text frame should be set to uh, fill the container and hug content, sure. And now let's actually put a, some text in there. plugins to do lorem ipsum but I can't be bothered okay but now this is kind of blowing out of there so that's fine we're going to set that to say fill and we're back to normal okay it's a bit big I think we'll bring it down to 12 and then I'm also going to add a button into here I think so we'll go into my assets and I'll just grab a button and Okay, and on the button, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to our layer, and we're going to create a new property called show button. Create that true. Okay, so now we have an open with text. So now we need to take this guy. Uh, actually, no, we, we're going to do this the same way we did before. So we're going to drag this down. We are going to change the state to closed. That gets rid of that error. And then again, we're going to drag this up, set it to one, and then set our, now see, you can see the button there a little bit. So when we select this, we'll actually pick our, just adjust our padding to one, and that should, that should get rid of that. There we go. So now we take this and set our spacing to minus one, and flip our trusty arrow. Okay, now we've got an accordion that you can choose between two different types. So now on this one, we're going to select our header, we're going to go to prototype, drag it up to the open state, smart animate 300, that's fine. We're going to click our header here and drag it to that, and it's the exact same. And then we're going to do the same thing here. So header, done, and header, done. Okay. Now you can take this further, you can create all different types of accordions. Maybe one's got, you know, check boxes in it, or, you know, an image and tag. Like you can take this as far as you want, but this is just a nice way of creating one component that has different uses, um, and it kind of makes it a little bit easier for the developers. And actually on this one, what we're gonna do is we gotta get rid of that border. So there, that's gone. Okay, so now if we create a frame, Fun. Get our accordion component over here. It's this guy. So we can drag it in. It's default. Now you can reorder the states. Totally fine. Um, I'm just, I just leave it for now. So now we've got an accordion, and now we'll just test it and kind of see what this looks like here. All right, click on this, animates open, collapses beautifully. Look at that. Beautiful component. All right, 
Now, let's say you want to take that further. So let's say you got two of these. Right here, you can change it to a text one. So now you can see that there's text component. And then when you've got a text, you can turn off your button too. So now it's just text. So it's getting pretty versatile already. And we only have two different types of, of um, accordions in here. So now if you take these two guys, stack them in an auto layout, um, the beautiful thing is that they move with each other. Kind of cool. But they both also stay open at the same time. So now if you want them to close automatically, like I, I showed you in at the beginning, uh, you actually have to make another component. It's a little bit of a, a hack, but that's okay. So we can just take this, and we can call this accordion stack, and turn it into a component. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new variant, and we're going to create a variant with this open. The problem here is you kind of have to, uh, I don't know, let me, I'll, I'll come back to that actually, there might not be a problem. Uh, and then we're going to create another one with the bottom one open. So now we have both closed, top open, bottom open. So now when we go to our prototypes, we can select the component, drag it to that one, smart animate, and this one will go to this one, smart animate. Uh, this guy will go to that one, and this guy will go to that one, and then actually this guy, so see now we have variant interactions on them because we have those interactions in the component, so we actually have to get rid of that. And I'm going to bring that up so that when you click that, it, it collapses it. And same with this one. Get rid of that. Drag that guy up to the top. And actually, I think on every one of these, because it'll start conflicting, we'll have to go through and remove our variant interaction on these. So I did it on that one already. Get rid of it on there. Get rid of it on there, and I think I did those. Okay. Perfect. So now we have our accordion stack. So if you drag that in, put it there, you'll see. So this is our original one, right? So when you click this, it opens. Click it, it closes. Click this one, it opens. Click it, it closes. Click this one, opens. Click this one, closes that one. So now they're working together. Um, and like I said, so it's a it's a it's a bit of a hack because you got to make another component out of it, but you know it, it's a better user experience for certain scenarios for sure. Now the only thing I'm wondering here is can we pick these and switch out? Holy shit! Look at that. So you can even use the instances within them, so you don't even have to predefine in your component which which. Um, state it's going to be because you can do that once it's created so there you have it uh, a more advanced interactive accordion component um, make sure to like the video subscribe uh, check out my other videos and check out my other channels and again uh, thanks for watching and we will see you next time